Here we are in a typical small bathroom. I've installed some shower splash guards, one mounted down here. Well, these are the ones that I diamond plated, but I wanted a more defined edge to them. So I took some pinstripe tape and I uh, put the pinstriping on because I like the black outline. With the remainder of the diamond plate sheet that I had, which was 24 by 36, I was able to get not just two of these out of it, but I was able to get four of them. So I put one up there in that corner and then one over here in this corner. So with what was left, I was able to make a couple of pieces and this is going to be a border to go along this edge here between the two at the top. The last thing I was able to do is make this rectangular one down here. It's actually going to go over here and cover this medicine cabinet. I've already replaced the plastic doors. It, that was a piece of plastic mirror that I found and I cut it to the right size and the final couple of little pieces that were left over I was able to cover the switch plate with diamond plate and I used some half inch vinyl black vinyl on there and then one more of those there so that was pretty much the end of my 24 by 36 piece of diamond plate. So now all I have to do is mount up the top along the wall there and I've already put a couple of pieces of carpet tape up there so this is all I have to do to put it up there now with this I want to be able to remove it later so and I may even have to put a few more pieces of carpet tape in the meantime but that's okay it just depends on how well it holds here so there that works when you come in and look at it it'll look like that I like that okay it's a guy thing okay so the last thing on the list here today is to mount this piece for the cabinet now I'm gonna turn it over and let you see how I did that. This is the exposed side edge. The wall will be here so I went around along the wall with striping tape and this will be the top and it goes right back to the mirror. This end I didn't do much because there's paint. It's jammed in the corner and there's paint in there. So I just wanted to go around the corner because this material I don't want it to spring and come apart. And the same with the bottom. The bottom won't be seen. Just the face of it will be seen. Now you'll notice all the different sizes here. The material that I cut off of here I actually attached down here to make this wide enough to go all the way back to the mirror. I did the same thing here and then when I covered it with diamond plate you can't see it or tell the difference. It looks it looks like it's all one solid piece. Yeah so all I have to do is take this piece. I haven't put any tape on yet but maybe I can put some tape on it. If I do it'll go right here and I'll put a piece there but you don't need to watch me do that. But this just fits perfectly just like a glove. It should just slide right on there and slide right in there and there you go. It's all done. So when you look at it from the side here it looks pretty nice and got the matching face plates. So now all I have to do is wait for a new mirror to go behind this. It's so bad I don't even want to show you what it looks like. And so now I've got a bathroom with um, one, two splash guards and that piece at the top it sort of joins the whole thing and keeps the eye going and there we go we've got so now I just have to put up a suitable shower curtain so if I can find a gray or silver one it would work well so that's it